In this Lua Bootcamp video, we're going to be looking at variables. First of all, what is a variable? Uh, it's a place to store values such as numbers, words, and so on. You can think of it as a, a drawer in a kitchen cabinet or, you know, you can, it's like what's in a drawer, whatever you put in there. For example, you could say age, which is the name of your variable, equals 49. Any place in your program where you need to use the number 49, you could use the variable age instead. Why would you want to do that? Something that comes up a lot is, for example, if you, if you, had, the, if you had age is 49, uh, several different places in your program, and then it's like, oh, darn it, it's supposed to be age equals 50. You'd have to go through and find all the places where you used 49 and change it. If you use a variable, though, and, and all of those places throughout your code, you're just saying age instead of 49. All you have to do is go back to the very first part of your program where you say age equals 49, change it to age equals 50, and then your program, everywhere throughout your program, can take advantage of that one change that you made. You can also set a variable. Here's a variable called name, and I've set it to J. Now, in programming, you're going to hear strings a lot. You hear the word strings, and what that means is just shorthand for a string of characters. And a string could be one single character, uh, an A, a P, an E. It could be a word like J, or it can be a complete sentence or a complete, uh, complete book, for that matter, could be a string of characters, a string. So you can set a variable to a string also. There's the variable called eyes, and we have set it to two. And earlier we mentioned the, the thing about um, dynamic typing and stuff like that in, in the previous video. And what that basically means is the variable eyes can be set to two, the number two, or it can be set to the word blue or, you know, or, or anything else. And Lua doesn't care. Lua says, here's a variable, it's named eyes. And if you want to put a two in it, that's fine. If you want to put a string in it, that's fine too. A lot of programs don't have that ability. A lot of programming languages don't have that ability. If you specify that eyes holds a number, then it can only hold numbers, can't hold strings or anything else. Um, one of the other things I wanted to mention about strings is uh, the difference between setting like age to 49 and name to J. The main difference there is that the string has quote marks around it. So uh, numbers don't have to have quote marks. Strings do have to have quote marks around them. So just remember that. There's some different types of variables in Lua, three basic kinds. One is a global variable, and that's seen throughout the program. For example, age equals 18. If that's in the beginning of your program, even if you have multiple files in your program, multiple modules in your program, uh, at some other point, if you reference the variable age, it will still equal 18, or whatever you set it at that point. So that's a, that's a global variable. A local variable, you can only see it in a specific block of code. And the way you make a, a local variable is you put the keyword local in front of it. So local age equals 18. So you could have, you could have um, a block of code, uh, and inside of that it says local age equals 18. And when you're running a different block of code, it can't actually see that. Um, and we're getting, we're getting into that's, that's what's considered scope, the scope of a variable. And we'll get into scope later on in, in these videos. And the other kind of variable in Lua is a table field, and we'll get into that in the table video itself. There are different kind of variable expressions. There are arithmetic operators, plus, minus, the asterisk, which is for multiplication, and the slash for division. There's relational operators. There's equals, not equals, less than, greater than, less or equal, less than or equal, and greater than or equal. There's logical operators, uh, and, or, and not. Um, and there's also string concatenation. So you can hook two strings together. Basically, uh, this part of a string plus this part of a string equals the entire string. And we'll get into more of these in the, uh, in the upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and switch over to uh, Outlaw and take a look at some of these actually in real code. If you're using uh, Corona Project Manager or Outlaw, uh, you have Lua built in. Go under the Tools 
menu, plugins, and pick Lua Scratch Pad. And there may be different things in here, but right up at the top, you should see this block. Local function, print s, and then inside of it, io.write to string s, dot, dot, uh, okay, uh, I, we're, we'll go into what all that means later, but you you want that at the top of your uh, your Lewis scratch pad here, so that you can so that you can go through these examples. So if you don't have that, go ahead and pause the video right now and just uh, type that in, and you'll be ready to go. All right, so we have age equals forty nine, and I'm going to put two dashes in front of this line, two dashes in front of a line. Uh, is a comment in Lua, which basically means as it's as it's scanning through here, deciding what to do, it skips anything after these two dashes, the two hyphens. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and run this. We have age equals 49, and then under here I'm going to say print age, and we can see down here it printed 49. I'm going to do this here, uh, 49 in quotes because this is a string run that and it prints 49 and just like I said before uh, Lua doesn't care whether this is a number or a string it'll take anything and remember we talked about global versus local variables so this is a global variable because it doesn't say local in front of it um, I can put local in front of it that ch this changes it to a local variable but in what we're doing here it doesn't make any difference it just does that. Uh, undo the comment here, and now we're going to do age equals age plus one. So since this is 49, what do you think will happen when I print age after doing age equals age plus one? Now, some of you might be jumping ahead and saying it'll it'll print fifty. No, it won't because this is a string. Actually, I think what I think it'll give me an error message. Uh, yeah, it gives me an error message here because what it's trying to do is it's trying to take this string of characters and add a one to it, which doesn't really make sense. So let's let's take this back to forty nine, and then this next line age equals age plus one. That's going to take whatever's in age, which is 49, add 1, we should get 50 down here, and we get 50. Let's go ahead and multiply 49 uh, by 2, multiply it by 2, hit run, we get 98. We can divide it by uh, 13. And we get 3.76 and so on and so forth. So there's an example of how you can use arithmetic operators to add, subtract, and so on. One of the other things I want to let's see mention here is let's say local answer. Now this is a local variable equals age divided by 13. So you can do an operation and assign that operation to even a completely different variable. If we go and say print answer we get the same thing of course if we do local answer so we're setting up a variable we don't have anything in it we print answer we get nil so if you set if you create a variable like this don't put anything in it this is it's equal to nil which is nothing let's change this to my name And since it's a string, we have to put it in quote marks. Local answer equals. All right, so we have local answer equals my name. And remember, the string concat uh, concatenation character is two dots. My name dot dot is cool. <laughs> okay. Um, so now when we print this, you notice that there's a, a little space there. If I don't do that, It'll just, uh, I'll go ahead and try it here. It just kind of smashes everything together. It doesn't know that there should be a space there. It's a very, you have to tell it what to do, just like all programming. So we put that there, run it again. J is cool. All right, so there's just a little uh, a look at um, some different kind of uh, variables, numeric variables, string variables. 
uh, concatenating two different strings together. And we'll get into variables a lot more as, as uh, we actually dive into the actual programming of our game.